Welcome everybody. Welcome once again to Bot 10 Art. My name is Lazaro Gomez. This is the Friday night live stream. <laughs> oh man, it's always such a good time. I wait all week just to do this show. Uh, and I wanted to do this one especially tonight because I've been wanting to do some Umbrella Academy pieces and I got some canvases. Uh, these are these are small little canvases that I got from Walmart, I believe. And um, and anyways, I wanted to do I wanted to do some Umbrella Academy pieces and hopefully I can do all of them. We'll see how it goes. I'll be using uh, Waverly acrylic paints and stuff like that. We are currently broadcasting or streaming, I should say, to YouTube, DLive, and Twitch. So I am attempting to have uh, both the YouTube chat and the and the DLive uh, chat open, and hopefully I don't miss anybody. <laughs> but uh, but if I do, then you know certainly let me know. Uh, yesterday I was streaming on DLive and had some technical difficulties, so. Hopefully I got everything worked out and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But if we do experience a little bit of lag, uh, just hang in there. Hopefully it'll correct itself. Uh, if not, then we got to we got to abandon ship. <laughs> We're going to have to abandon ship. Uh, if you're new to the Friday night live stream, basically what we do is uh, for the next hour, we'll be doing this piece. There'll be a trivia question. I give you a strange but true fact. Uh, we do that on a weekly basis, and then we just kind of shoot the breeze. Hey, what's happening, Dan? Good to see you, brother. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for showing up. I hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, we, of course, we're doing awesome like we always do. Um, you know, we have <laughs> we have challenging weeks sometimes, but uh, we, we fight through it, you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes, ladies and gentlemen, whatever it takes. Oh, on the DLive side, uh, Solution. Thank you for the follow, Solution. <laughs> I hope you stay for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, this is what we do. We just hang out for about an hour. And, uh, and we, you know, we just uh, get cozy with each other. We get cozy. <laughs> Trace, what's up, man? Yo, what's going on? <laughs> You're watching it, man. You're watching it. So uh, I'll show you the piece that that I'm drawing inspiration from. Of course, I'm putting all of these through the Bot 10 filter. So uh, I kind of want them to have my style. But this is the this is the piece, or it's it's basically the uh, the cover to to one of the comics. And if you're not familiar with the uh, the Umbrella Academy. This is done by the lead singer of uh, My Chemical Romance. My God, <laughs> his name has slipped my mind. I know his last name is Ways, I think. But anyways, and I do apologize for all you Chemical Romance fans out there. Um, I like the music; it was pretty cool. Uh, I like the comic even more. But of course, there is now a Netflix adaptation of this. As you can see, I superimposed my face on number five. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Hey, Ketia, how's it going? Bravo, bravo. Muchas gracias. Yes, muchas gracias. Friday night live stream. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Good as always. Awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, I've been asking everybody, hey, what are you doing this weekend? And we pretty much, you know, for the most part, have the same feeling, right? Everybody's like, man, you know, just laying low. Uh, for me, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Neela joins on every once in a while, my beautiful queen. And uh, and we have a good time on there. <laughs> we have a lot of laughs. Uh, we do silly things. But I am playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And so my plan is to do that. Uh, I'll be streaming on DLive uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then, uh, of course, well, Sunday I'll be, uh, Sunday I'll be streaming both YouTube, Twitch, and DLive for um, for the podcast, for Noodle Doodle Podcast. So you can follow along there. <laughs> Saturday will be all DLive. And um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of laying low, um, doing my laundry, <laughs> which is it's, it's exciting, you know. Oh, I got to do the laundry. Uh, 
So just kind of laying low, you know, and everybody's pretty much doing the same thing. It's like, uh, you know, this week has been kind of dragging on. So, so yeah, everybody wants to just kind of chill. And guess what, man? I am down with that. <laughs> that sounds like great, right? That sounds great to me. I'm down with that. So I think uh, I think we're going to chill for the most part as well. <laughs> How about you guys? What are you all doing? Laying low? <laughs> Laying low. It's always good to um, to take some some breaks, you know, just kind of because what happens is during the week you get so busy and, you know, you get busy with work and you're trying to do everything you can in your day to day that it just eats up a lot of time, right? It eats up a lot of time. You come home, you're tired, you got to do dinner, you got to do homework with the kids and all that good stuff and, you know, make sure everybody's doing well and getting acclimated. Uh, there's also, there's also uh, activities, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of parents who have kids in dance who, you know, have kids in karate or scouts or whatever the case may be. Dangerous. Good to see you, man. What's up? The art familia. Hold on. Hold on. I got to do that proper, right? Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. The art familia. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Thanks for joining, man. I hope you're doing good. I hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, but yeah, during the week, man, we just get so so busy with everything and then the weekend comes along and it's like a blink of an eye right saturday comes along sunday you're getting ready to go back to work and it's like oh my god dude what did i do we haven't you know we haven't done anything so yeah just a, you know a couple of uh, a couple of weekends where you do nothing is uh is welcomed at least in, at least in my book it is i stay steady with commissions and you know, a lot of the times I'm I'm pretty much you know handcuffed to this desk right here. I'm doing I'm doing hank uh doing commissions for everybody and just kind of how I like to call uh, I like to call it uh desk surfing. <laughs> I'm just surfing my desk, but I do have you know Netflix playing in the background and usually watching something. I watched all of uh, Umbrella Academy. And I, you know, I have a lot to watch. Like, there's things that are, there's things that I want to watch that are coming back. Hey, Trace. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh, all right, Trace, Trace and Leanne, they got a booth. They got a booth for free comic book day. Ooh, free comic book day. Definitely plug that in, man. Put it in the chat. That way, everybody can check it out. Hopefully, we can. We can see you all. Um, but yeah, you know, I have a lot of things that I want to watch on, on Netflix. Umbrella Academy was one of those things. And yeah, you know, the uh, the algorithm sometimes can be a pain. It's like, I don't want to watch this. And they, you know, they have a full banner. Watch this. You want to watch this. It's the evil Netflix corporation. <laughs> but I'll tell you honestly, um they have or netflix netflix has helped me a lot especially when i'm doing commissions because literally i have my laptop right here which i do all my streaming from i have everything i need right here in, the, in this little office and when i'm working on commissions i have my headphones on i'm just i'm watching something in the background and you know really focusing on what i'm doing so like for instance if this was someone's commission uh i would be painting this and watching something on Netflix. So, yeah, Umbrella Academy was welcoming. Uh, or it was well well received in my camp. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I also have a lot of other things. And I'm pretty sure the same thing happens to all of you. When you're at work or in school or whatever the case may be. You're watching something and someone says, Ooh, you got to watch you know, n name the show. <laughs> Scully! How's it going, man? <laughs> it's called Art Bondage. Oh, hey, hey. Okay, now. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm just, you know, like I said, death surfing. Um, 
but yeah, you know, you're watching your shows, this and that, whatever, and of course, someone, someone comes out and it's like, Game of Thrones is back. You're welcome. <laughs> so then it's another thing you gotta watch, and this and that, whatever, and that's usually the case. It's not, you know, not so much uh, Game of Thrones, but people will be watching their favorite shows, and you know, we are uh, social creatures. We like to share, so that's what happens and then you you know it's like oh it's another show i gotta watch i gotta watch another show and just you keep adding and keep adding and keep adding so uh for me i had umbrella academy it, you know like i have a i have a little list of shows and i'm like okay i you know i'm gonna watch umbrella academy at the time that it was suggested to me uh i was watching longmire because i saw the first two seasons of longmire a while back and it came back and i was like sweet i get to watch longmire longmire and i was watching that i see the advertisement for umbrella academy and i was like whoa all right cool i've read these comics this is going to be neat so i saw the trailer and it's like yep another show i got to watch then uh prior to that i watched the oa that's another that's another one of those uh netflix Netflix shows. So prior to prior to Longmire, I watched the OA, I watched Dark, and you know, got into Longmire, saw Umbrella Academy, <clears throat> and then uh a buddy of mine a buddy of mine says, Hey, guess what? There's this show, it's really awesome. It's really every all the stuff that you love, you have to check it out. And now I'm like, okay, well, what is it? Love, death, and robots. <laughs> and, you know, I'm like, man, I don't want to watch another show. This is ridiculous. No, 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 really. Just check out this trailer. Tell me what you think and go from there. And I was like, man, I, the, man I'm watching, you know, I'm trying to watch this Umbrella Academy and this and that, blah, blah, and Longmire. And, you know, I watched the trailer. I was like, yep, I got to watch this. I got to watch Love, Death, and Robots. Love, Death, and Robots. It is amazing. Oh, my God. You're so right. Uh, oh, look at that. Zimog. Muchas gracias. Thank you for the lemon on D-Live. Thanks. <laughs> um, so I saw the trailer. And I was like, my God, I got to watch this. Now it's another show I got to watch. So I finished all of Longmire. And then that was my that was like my promise. Right. I'm going through commissions. I'm doing all of this stuff. And it's like, OK, I, I promise. Yes, 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 yes. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. And I'm watching Love, Death, and Robots, and that same friend is, and it, of course, it's my fault. This is totally my fault because I put him on to both shows. Um, he goes, dude, are you watching OA season two? I was like, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Now there's like, now there's more. <laughs> Amberger, hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the lemon. Thank you very much. Uh, so anyways, it's like, dude, the OA season two is back. And I'm like, oh, come on. Like, really? Okay. So now I got past Love, Death, and Robots because I'm trying to watch the OA. And another buddy of mine at work sends me a link. <laughs> and because, of course... I put him onto this show, same thing, you know. He saw the first, he saw the first season of this particular show, and he fell in love with it. We were talking about it. We had great conversations, this and that, whatever. Because, like for me, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of you know sci-fi and horror and all that good stuff. So, most of the shows I watch are sci-fi, except for Longmire. Longmire is like, he's a <laughs> he's a sheriff in Wyoming, of all things. But it's a good show. It's a cool, it's an interesting thing. So I like it and I watched it. So I binged like, I don't know, maybe oh, like five, six seasons of Longmire. Got past that. Got past Umbrella Academy. Um, And then I see this trailer that my friend sent me. And it is dark. Dark season two. And oh my God, dude. Now I'm like. Ah, uh, I have too many shows to watch. Too many shows. Oh, let's see. Sammy and I are watching Hannah on Prime. Perfect for perfect 
for a 16 year old. Love, Death, and Robots is a must watch for adult art fans. That is so true. Uh, I don't. I'm not familiar with Hannah, and I'm kind of scared to ask because then I'm gonna have another show to watch. <laughs> Uh, but I do highly recommend Love, Death, and Robots. Um, if it, I want to say, well, oh, and hold on, before I get into that, I still have to watch Dark Mirror uh, Bandersnatch, I think it's called, Bandersnatch? I think so. Do you watch JoJo? I do not, Amberger, I do not watch JoJo. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'll definitely look it up after this, and uh, I'll look up Hannah as well. Uh, but yeah, so it's that show is like if the Twilight Zone, Dark Mirror, um, oh my God, Animatrix, Ian Flux or Ian Flux, like all got together and had a baby. <laughs> That's Love, Death, and Robots. Uh, it's truly amazing. There's different animation styles uh they're very they're they're shorts they're you know they're small uh i want to say they're like maybe 50 maybe 15 to 20 minutes long they're really really short and it's amazing man it's amazing like the writing is super awesome uh i know david fincher directed he might have i'm not sure if he was the executive producer or he might have been executive producer and directed some of them i'm not entirely sure but i kind of feel like he this is his redemption moment from alien three and four because <laughs> those were just garbage it's like really they were garbage david Vin david fincher is involved in this uh love death and robots there um there's some stuff that obviously if you if you couldn't figure it out uh, from the title, there are some things that's not suitable for little eyes, and it's certainly not suitable for work, <laughs> but it's a really, really good series, and I hope, I I kind of, uh, most of you know, I'm not a fan of reboots, I'm not a fan of multiple, you know, I don't want to see, like, you know, Saw 1, Saw 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and, you know, Fast and the Furious, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like, I, I just, I can't stand that. But I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind uh, Love, Death, and Robots if it was like the Twilight Zone. Just keep it the same, you know. And oh, that's another thing that's coming back, right? Twilight Zone is coming back. So just keep it Love, Death, and Robots. Add more stories. You don't have to do like, you know, Love, Death, and Robots Part Two. You don't have to do that. You just keep adding to the existing, right? Keep adding to what you have. And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be really, really great. There's uh, there's a few episodes that are my favorite. Lucky 13. That's, like, awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, it's short for JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. It's a true masterpiece of anime. Ooh, I do love me some anime, so I shall check it out. Uh, the last anime I watched and became like, dude, it's like, it, it kind of, I don't want to say it changed my life, but I did. So, okay. So let me, let me rewind when it comes to the anime since Amber Jura brought it up. Um, I love the old anime, uh, night, like eighties and nineties anime movies. You know, of course, Akira, Ghost in the Shell, all of those kinds of movies. I enjoy them a lot because it's a good story and the artwork is fantastic. You know, the animation is really cool. I love all the Gimbley movies. Uh, you know, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, uh, Spirited Away. I love all those films, right? So for me, uh, I one of my one of my favorite animations or series, I should say, animated series, is. Rurouni Kenshin. So Rurouni Kenshin is one of those like you either love it or hate it and for me I absolutely love it and I and once you know I was like man there's nothing there's nothing better than this nothing better 
<laughs> there's nothing better than this. And of course, later on, um, I got into Neon Genesis Evangelion. Love that because I grew up with, you know, I grew up with um, with Gundam. I grew up with, uh, oh my gosh, Robotech, Battletech, all those, you know, Voltron and stuff like that. So I love me some robots. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, it's like, what's the name of your company? Baten Robots. <laughs> yeah, Baten Art. <laughs> I want it. I like it. It's mine. <laughs> I'm extraordinary. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, so yeah, you know, I, again, it's like crazy. You know, I, I love this anime. There's nothing better than this, this and that, whatever. Then I discover Samurai Champloo. Blown away. Blown away. It's the same creators that made Cowboy Bebop. If you're familiar with that or not familiar with it, it's a it's another uh, anime series. And I know some people don't like anime and it's like, oh, anime stupid and blah, blah, blah. I get it. I'm not here to like bash on anybody for what they like. You like what you like, you know? Um, my beautiful queen she likes all the crime shows and mystery shows and stuff like that and from time to time you know i'll sit down and watch one with her not my cup of tea but you know i do it for her i certainly uh do not <laughs> i certainly do not put her through the uh the insanity of an anime so it's like yeah i'm just uh, you know usually i watch it on my phone or my tablet and I have my headphones on because, yeah, nobody wants to hear, you know, anime and sword fighting and crap like that, right? <laughs> so, Samurai Champloo. I love the soundtrack. It's a, a nice mixture of, you know, hip-hop and, and old, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe that, but old Edo period music or sounds, I guess, or soundscapes. It just... They made it they made it seem like hip hop was around during the early ja uh, Japanese eras. Which is like, how did they do that? <laughs> how did they do that? So and it piqued my interest. I liked it a lot. The story was fantastic. The characters are lovable. Um it's it's easy like it's so easy to fall in love with that anime. And and so to this day, it's one of my favorites. And I, you know, I thank my friend for putting me on to that because he's like, hey, man, uh, you seen Cowboy Bebop? And I'm like, yeah, I seen Cowboy Bebop. It was all right. He's like, OK, well, you need to watch Samurai Jump. G-Force. Do you remember G-Force? Then came out. Or, oh, wait. Yeah. Then came out around the same, same time as Robotech. Yeah, of course I remember G-Force. G-Force was awesome. Those are all the enemies. It's funny because um, I follow I follow a good friend of mine on D Live named um, named Shadow and Shadow Star, and we spend most of our time just talking about that. Oh, do you remember this anime? Do you remember that one? And you know he'll play soundtracks and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's so good. So today, yeah, he was playing Samurai Champloo while he while he does artwork and stuff like that. So if you ever find yourself over there in D Live, give him a follow. Uh, or you could just go to my page and you can see everybody I'm following. So anyways, yeah, man, all those old 80s and 90s anime uh, series and movies, I love them. So to me, I think I think Champloo is a bit of a masterpiece within its own right. And if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that you do. I highly suggest you do. But going back to the shows that I'm watching man there's not enough time there's not enough time <laughs> subs or dubs all right so uh yeah it's a true it's a true masterpiece of anime yes subs or dubs okay ambiguous that's a that's a trap it's a trick question <laughs> you want to know if I'm a true anime fan or not you're talking about subtitles or english dubs and well, I'm going to I'm going to have to say that I'm a little bit snobby here, but I do love 
I do love a nice subtitle. Everything in Japanese. And I'll just read along. It's all good. There's something about there's something about reading along the translations to what they're saying. It's almost as if you're learning Japanese while you're watching these things. And for the most part, a lot of people do do that. You know, they, they like to kind of follow along and, and they'll pick up a few words here and there in Japanese and stuff like that. So that right there was the trap question. I have seen this before. <laughs> uh, but of course, you know, in all fairness, um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put the snob hat away and put on the, the reality hat. But in all fairness, someone who's not into anime, uh, that's one of the key points that's going to drive them away from anime. Like, oh, I got to sit there and read all this crap. Do they have it in English? You know, this and that, whatever, blah, blah. And, and I get it. I get it. It's hard to, it's hard to watch something and follow along while you're reading unless you watch it over and over and over again. So for me, yeah, I seen Akira, like, you know, I could quote Akira in my sleep <laughs> because I've seen it so much. The same thing with Ghost in the Shell. I saw those both. I saw those two films uh, with, you know, with subtitles and then later on saw the English dub. So um, which was really, really weird because I was like, oh, the hell happened to my movie? And I totally get it. I totally get it. So for somebody who's new to anime and not really um, not really used to that sort of stuff, you could be turned off of it real, real fast. And I mean, I tend to watch everything with captions anyways. So I'm one of those weird dudes that, you know, I, I'm laying in bed watching some Discovery Channel, you know, something usually like the latest one was Planet, right? Planet 2, I think. Yeah, Planet 2. That one, you know, it it's crazy. Like, I love David Edinburgh, right? His voice is so nice. It's soothing. I could listen to this man talk for hours and hours and hours about nature and animals and stuff like that. So I love all that. <laughs> Hell yes, the fiery phoenix. <laughs> there you go, Scully. You've seen it. Uh, so any, anyways, for me, it's, it's one of those like... Um, I don't want to say guilty pleasure because it's not a guilty pleasure, but growing up and, you know, watching nature shows and stuff like that, David Edinburgh, uh, I just love his voice. So anything that he narrates is fantastic, but still, even though I'm hearing it and I'm watching the action that's happening on the TV, I have the captions on and it's, you know, the text is scrolling by and boom, 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 boom. But I guess, I don't know. It's something weird that I do. <laughs> But I enjoy it. I, you know, I like it. I'm like, ah, cool. I get to see little text scrolling past the screen. <laughs> but enough of that. I digress. Uh, who's seen Umbrella Academy? Am I? Am I? You know, I don't. I don't want to say. Well, you know, I'm gonna spoil something. Blah blah blah. But because I don't think I'm going to. But. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've seen Umbrella Academy or you don't really care about it. That's all. That's all fair as well. And um, excuse me. And before the um, before the crowd goes wild, <laughs> before the crowd goes crazy, I'm one of those people uh, that has not seen a lot of. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I saw like the first two seasons, I want to say two, yeah, like the first two and a half seasons. And I get it. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a cool story. Of course, the books are what, Fire and Ice or something like that? The I, I don't know. And there are people that are fanatics about it, just like anything else. I mean, you could be a fanatic of anime. And I totally get it. I totally get that. Uh, but for me, Game of Thrones doesn't really call out to me about anything. The same thing happened to me with The Walking Dead. So um, in the beginning, I was a, I was big on The Walking Dead. I was like, sweet, Robert Kirkman, you know, AMC, The Walking Dead. He's going to do this right. Because, because I read all The Walking Dead comics. 
But then lately I was like, eh, it's okay. You know, it kind of fell to the wayside and I stopped watching Walking Dead. And then now they introduce some new things, this and that, whatever. I get it. Rick is maybe alive. Uh, I don't know. Nobody knows. And so on and so forth. So the same thing is happening with Game of Thrones. Everybody waited for a very, very long time. Oh, my God. Game of Thrones is finally back. Oh, here we go. This is the last. I believe this is the final season, right? Final season of Game of Thrones? I'm not sure. But anyway, everybody's up in arms. Game of Thrones is back. Oh, my God. Why don't you watch Game of Thrones? What's wrong with you? You know, I get it. I get it. Um, Just not my thing. I don't know. It's, you know, I... It it has it has all the right things that I would like, you know, fantasy, all that stuff. Um, I don't know. I just never got into it, and and part of the reason is you know the cutting of cable. I cut cable like years ago, so then now I'm like, man, I gotta you know download the HBO app or something like that so I can watch this thing and just kind of be current with everybody, and that's another thing too. Um. I don't I don't do things in the conventional mainstream way. So like if everybody's watching The Walking Dead, uh, more than likely I'm not watching it. Uh same thing for you know whatever show is popular now. Because you know not not I'm not trying to be a snob or anything like that. It just the timelines don't really fit like when I'm watching something um, I don't, you know, I don't want to jump and have to watch something else. And so by the time I get around to it, it's like, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like not watching it. So, you you know, I don't know if you guys want to talk about, <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to talk about that or not, but uh, I can tell you that you're not going to ruin anything for me. <laughs> oh, man. So. Avengers, yes, no, maybe so, the most amazing movie ever. I have heard everything from it was great, it was okay. Um, a lot of a lot of online arguments have happened, divorces, <laughs> people like, how can you have ruined this for me? But, I mean, it's a superhero movie. How do you think it's going to end? So, you know, I wouldn't be ruining much. Kira Chris, hello, welcome. Here, even though I'm eating pizza at CC's. What's good, peoples? <laughs> That's another thing I got to, I man, I got to address that. Oh, Loved Umbrella Academy. We have binged it already. Yeah, same here. And... You know, if you binged it, you know how it ends. Uh, certainly, there's going to be more. We know this, right? We know this. Uh, that's something Kira Chris brought up something really interesting, and I do have to address that. So, um, man, you you guys are truly, truly amazing. I'm not just blowing smoke up your stack. Um, it's. I, I always get messages like, hey, we're in Walmart. We're doing our groceries as fast as we can, but we wanted to support you. And, you know, we, we signed on to check you out. Like, <laughs> that's mind-blowing to me. Um, people shopping, you know, people going different places. Hey, my daughter has dance rehearsal, uh, you know, or a dance show or something like that. We'll tune in where we can. Here and there and breaks and blah 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 uh like right now uh kira chris eating pizza <laughs> eating pizza watching the friday night live stream it blows my mind how much love and support you guys give me and i gotta tell you like streaming yesterday um and i had that i had that catastrophic failure <laughs> that, that i left it on d live so everybody could see how how much you know, or how long I was on the struggle bus. Uh, but anyways, like this is this is what I love to do. I love to hang out with the community. You guys make me laugh. You guys make this show entertaining. You provide so much for me. And I just, I really, 
I really don't have um I I really don't have a proper way to say thank you except thank you. <laughs> like I'm always like thank you very much. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you, you know. And it's like there's no other way to say it but the art family, man. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And then now, you know, things are constantly evolving. When I first started the show, I was streaming on my on my cell phone. I was, you know, and I was flipping it back and forth and the lighting sucked and I didn't have all these super awesome graphics and I didn't have anything. Things changed, things evolved, you know, doing commissions and building the company and building the brand and just, you know, getting cameras, getting lighting. I just received my uh, my mixer yesterday, so I have a brand new mic mixer and I could like mess around with it, make it super loud and. And I could do stuff like that. So you won't, you don't know what I said. <laughs> uh, but things are, things are constantly evolving, constantly changing. I always have commissions. I'm about to upgrade my 3D printer. Like, it's just insane, right? It's insane. This vision that I had of what I wanted Bot 10 Art to be and the community and the live stream and everything. And it's, it's like come together, right? It's come together. And I truly, truly appreciate that. I know that you guys like carve out an hour every Friday just for me and to hang out with the family and, you know, the art family and everybody and have fun. And I truly, 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 truly appreciate that so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And now we're just we're branching forward. Now we're live streaming on Twitch, on DLive and different places. And we're building communities there and just making things awesome. So I just want you to know that. uh you know, from the bottom of my heart, I'm always going to be the same person. What you see is what you get. Uh, there's a lot of people here that know me personally. It's like, this is me. You know, there's no other labs. There's no like show labs. There's no nothing. Uh, there's there's none of that. <laughs> that blue is nice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and and that's what I love. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't have to change what is truly meaningful to you and for me it's you know it's my family it's art it's my friends it's having a good time it's enjoying life and so the best way that i could thank you all is just to keep going and keep doing it and keep spending time with you all so this brings me a lot of a lot of pleasure you know i'm extremely happy to do this every single week i look forward to it every single week uh, my beautiful queen can tell you that and um and yeah it just it blows my mind so <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so very much. And of course, in true Baten art fashion, we are late for our first segment. And I'm not even prepared because my phone is charging. So let me grab my phone and it's time for Strange But True. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh, Strange But True. If you're new to the live stream and you have no idea what just happened, I am late because usually at the 25th minute is when we do Strange But True. But every week, this is a little segment of the live stream that I like to call Strange But True, where I just look up a random fact and give it to you so that you can mull it over and say, what the heck? Are you? <laughs> Why are you looking this stuff up? Oh, man, the chat exploded. All right, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I love the bird. Like, oh, yeah, okay, I got that. Okay, Dan, uh, I'm extremely, oh, oh, I'm exactly the same. My other friends think I am lame because I don't keep up with trendy shows and movies. Yeah, you know, it's okay. So like we live in a time we live in a time where like everything is divided, right? We're divided about everything. You could put a package of like ketchup on the table and, you know, the mustard people are going to be like, Ugh, ketchup, ketchup sucks. Mustard is the best and blah, blah, blah. And it's so weird to me. You know, I'm not... Um, I'm certainly, I'm certainly not throwing any shade at anybody. I'm not trying to make that divide even bigger. Hey, Lila, how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Art fam is best fam. Indeed it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just think that we, you know, we lock ourselves in culturally. We don't, we don't grow and we end up dividing ourselves more and more because of that. So like, that's what I love about a lot of my friends like there's there's just so so much diversity so much difference 
and you know so many different opinions and it's all beautiful to me because I get a little bit of everything you know when I come home my beautiful queen tells me something I'm like oh wow you know that's that's pretty cool I, I did not know that you know and, and you learn and you grow and and I think in life in general that's what you have to do so you know someone thinking you're lame Dan because you don't you know watch the trendy things I know you well enough to I, I know you well enough that that does not bother you you like you don't care about that <laughs> and you know how I am I'm like whatever yeah I'm not watching Game of Thrones dude sorry uh, but there's a lot to be said right because I mean it's part of our of our identity and the big 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 takeaway from all this is just watch what you like enjoy you know what makes you happy do the things that make you happy and ultimately that's the best right um and this may be a whole other topic but you see those people that go to concerts or something like that and they, they're holding the ipad and recording everything i get it you know you want to capture that particular moment but i mean really you're gonna enjoy it a lot more if you enjoy the show so you know what i mean okay enough of that enough of that all right here we go let's see Ooh. All right, how about some strange science facts? The moon, this might freak some people out, but here we go. The moon is moving away from the earth at a tiny, although measurable rate every year. 85 million years ago, it was orbiting the earth about 35 feet from the planet's surface. Think about that. That was a big moon. <laughs> 35 feet is not much, okay? 35 feet from the surface, like, really, think about that. That's nuts. So that's your strange but true fact for the week. Mommy, what's that giant thing? That's the moon, honey. <laughs> so when someone says, I love you to the moon and back, that's not very far. <laughs> At least 85 million years ago. So there you have it. All right, cool. We're going to keep going. Uh, of course, you know how we do if we don't. Uh, if we don't finish the piece, there's always next week. We'll continue going. Uh, but let's see. I got to catch up. I got to catch up. <laughs> Winter Cobra. What's up, man? Thanks for joining. Thank you very much for the lemon. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Dangerous. Game of Thrones never grabbed me. I watched the first two episodes. They were in. They were intense. But I just, did, I just didn't do any. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just didn't do anything for me. I, oh, okay, you meant it didn't do anything for you. Walking Dead, it seems like the same old stuff to me. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, Again, Game of Thrones is interesting. It's not, you know, it's not a bad show. It's just not for me. So that's that's my biggest thing. Walking Dead kind of, like, there was a lot of things in the, in, in the books, you know, like the the comics that were really interesting and for the time that they came out uh made it it was revolutionary because it was something that hasn't been done but now it kind of became like eh, you know for the same reason that everybody you know and i and i I've, I've told this story on the podcast on noodle doodle you know back in the day it's like if you were a nerd like you got beat down for that like i i got, <laughs> in junior high i played dungeons and dragons and there was a guy that like literally just started wailing on me he started punching me calling me a nerd because i play dungeons and dragons this and that whatever and there's a difference between a nerd and a geek i tend to be a geek or i am a geek and that difference is that i can fight back so i nailed this dude <laughs> i'll be like don't ever call me a nerd again i'm a geek uh but yeah you know and then now it's really i mean it's pop culture really it just superheroes and all kinds of stuff and things like that like it's the norm now so, you know, that that was life changing for me. Uh, but but yeah, so, you know, it's it's just weird. It's really, really weird. Scully, I'll take the bot 10, <laughs> the bot 10 summer loot box as a proper thank you. Ah, all right. All right. Well, you got to you got to first beat Leela. <laughs> she's like destroying. She's destroying the uh, the trivia. It's ridiculous. Like, here's the current score. All right, Leela has 12 points. 
Scully has five, Dan has two. So you got some catching up to do, buddy, if you want that box. But the good thing is that I am going to have two a year. So a lot of the stuff that we've been working on is going to go into the boxes. Uh, I got some... I'm working on... I'm actually working on Bot 10 Art stickers. But I want to make them really, really cool. And I, I definitely want the family to be involved in this. You know, the art family. So you guys get to decide what kind of stickers we do. And that'll be one of the Friday night uh, events. We'll get together and kind of decide what we want. Because I don't want... I mean, unless you guys want them. I don't think you guys want, like, Bot 10 Art stickers. You know, Bot 10 Art. Like, I don't know. It just, it just doesn't, like... It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem cool to me. It's kind of like the painting that we did where all the fans, you know, or I don't want to say fans, but like all of all of you guys got together and and we made this super cool painting, right? So I want to be able to do the same thing with the stickers, uh, but there will be some other stuff in there that you guys will enjoy. So one of them is going to go out in the summertime when I take my break and then uh, another one around Christmas time. So around Christmas time, there'll be another box. Look out for that. Winter Cobra, man, you're making it rain. Thank you so much. Thank you for donating an ice cream. And for all of you guys that have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> basically, on DLive, it is a, um, it's a blockchain. It's a blockchain website for creators and viewers. So the way it works is I get donations or people can give me donations for streaming and they in turn get linos uh for watching so the community is really awesome i'm in the art community there so if you go looking for me um go that route i'll put a link in the description uh to so that you can you know sign up and and look me up and all that good stuff but anyways uh yeah it's totally awesome it's like it's i'm getting tips you know for doing a live stream and that's pretty cool it helps me out a whole lot and and I enjoy it. And then I in turn watch all of my favorite artists and friends and you know people like Winter Cobra. I know that uh, you're streaming Apex right now, right? You're playing Apex, so you'll be streaming tonight or during the weekend. I'll tune in and uh, I'll chat and stuff like that. And I will donate to him as well. So it's it's a reciprocal thing. It's really really cool. But anyways, let's uh, let's get a smaller brush here. We'll. We're going to do some, some more painting. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. We'll play trivia and then basically call it a night. I will be going, I'll be going to my usual spot. You guys know where that is. <laughs> and it was, it was so funny. If you guys haven't seen last week's noodle doodle, um, I explained everything that happened last week, like last week, somehow, some way. I might have pissed off like some kind of universal force or something out there. And like the live stream just went nutty, right? It went insane. And here's the thing. I'm not a superstitious person, but it's crazy, man. Like every Friday night when I finish the live stream, I usually finish around 9 p.m. And we jump in our car. We go to Culver's. Uh, that's kind of our spot. We get some yummy, yummy, yummy cheese curds. We get some ice or custard. They ha they make custard there, not ice cream. And we hang out as a family. You know, we have a good time and kind of talk about the weekend and blah, blah, blah. So that's our thing, right? That's what we do every Friday night. So last week, and this is, like I said, this is my own undoing. <laughs> last week, I interrupted the, I interrupted the universal way of things, you know, like, the subconscious stream of whatever it whatever it takes to do the to do the live stream or to run bot tent art and we did not go i was like you know what let's stay home we'll make some dinner and uh and just kind of stay here let's do that and then lo and behold uh i was doing the avenger piece and there was some streaming issues and this and that whatever it didn't turn out well but i do um I do recommend that you tune in and, and watch that video because I explain it all in a very funny way. So, Noodle Doodle. That was, I want to say episode 20. My God, am I up to 20 episodes already on my podcast? That's crazy. 
but uh but yeah you can see it on youtube you can see it on d live i haven't i haven't uploaded anything to twitch so i do apologize for anybody watching on twitch um i don't have any noodle doodles on twitch bad lad but yeah every sunday 10 a.m i do my podcast and i talk about just different kinds of things it's like um Uh, different topics I have a prompt book that was given to me and I pick a topic uh, or I pick a prompt I pick a topic to talk about usually art related and we kind of shoot the breeze that one goes for about eh, 35 minutes or so every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and hopefully I will have a new episode for everyone this Sunday this Sunday 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 <laughs> It's so funny. Um, I often talked about when I'm working on artwork, and when I first started, when I first <laughs> when I first started doing the live stream, I wouldn't say anything because I was so concentrated, and I'm like, "Oh crap, people are watching, and I better get this line right," and blah blah blah. And now it's like, "Yeah, you guys know, <laughs> you know how it goes. You're the art family." All right, this is coming along nicely. So. The idea here is, and of course, I have all kinds of different uh, Waverly. This is the the Waverly, I guess, like acrylic paint, but it's really heavy bodied and it covers a lot of space and it's really, really awesome. But my idea is to basically do every single character through and, you know, my style and have a different color background. So like this is the father and his background is is this you know this color here the color is on the lid it would be great if I looked at that right yeah that'll be great agave agave so that's the agave color and then uh, each one's gonna have their own five um, Klaus you know all of them are gonna have a different kind of background mr. shadow star welcome hello what's up good to see you man good to see that you survived today you survived Friday uh, earlier, I I was telling everybody that you and I were were playing all kinds of uh, anime sound soundtracks. That was like, man, that was early. <laughs> that was early. I couldn't sleep today. Usually, I get up for work at five uh, five thirty. I get up, I start getting ready, this and that, whatever. I guess my new routine is to hang out with the the almighty Shadow Star Haki. <laughs> and uh he he's on a t different time zone than i am so when i'm getting up to go to work he's going to bed and we uh we just started you know hanging out uh talking about different kinds of things we covered animes favorite animes bad animes <laughs> so we had a whole anime uh discussion while you were gone Yep, working on an Umbrella Academy piece, sir. With acrylic paints. Waverly acrylic paints. These are pretty cool. You could, like, I got the set for Christmas. Uh, but these are about, I want to say like a dollar fifty, maybe $2, if that, for each one. But they're really, really good. They're made for, um, they're made for crafts. A lot of crafts, like if you're doing wall stencils and stuff like that. Uh, I use them, you know, I use them this way. <laughs> I use them to paint. But it's what I always say. It's, you know, part of the artwork is the tools. The other part is the artist. So I somehow, some way make it work. <laughs> I don't know if you can do this, but we're doing it. Uh, so, yeah, we were talking about we were talking about uh, anime and stuff like that. So you missed it. You missed it. Yes, indeed. All right, we're at the 55th minute. You know what that means, everybody? Oh, Lordy. Okay, so fear not. This piece will get completed. 
it will get done you know we always do it we always finish our work we're just going to continue it on next week but before we go you know what time it is guys oh my god here's the score again Leela she has 12 points she is the current leader Scully has 5 points Dan has 2 um, I'm looking at you Dan I'm looking at you man you got to come back from this you got to you got to come back from it but it is time for no not strange but true brain tickle brain tickle if you're new to the friday night live stream and you don't know what brain tickle is it's real simple i give you one trivia question and if you know the answer you leave it in the form of a comment on this video and of course i tally up the score sometime in the summertime i'm gonna send out this magical button summer loot box to the winner whoever has the highest points and then again in the winter time in christmas time so here we go one question trivia all right here we go it is time to play brain tickle <laughs> oh what let's see uh oh sammy would love to see a ah a vanya and a klaus bot 10 version mm, nice nice this is your favorite part <laughs> This is Leela's favorite part. She's laying the smack down. She's like, I totally got this. You guys suck. <laughs> I'm sure she's not saying that. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got to pick a really good one. Really good one. I was thinking of doing some uh, Umbrella Academy related trivia, but eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see. Be kind to me, my trivia phone. Ooh. All right. This is this is pretty cool. This is interesting. I like this one. Here we go. Your trivia question for this week. If you know the answer, leave it in the form of a comment. I will I will tally up the score. And by the way, the answer for last for last week, the first appearance for the Avengers, correct. It was 1963. So Leela and Scully were correct. This week's question. Nolan Bushnell, co-founder of Atari, also founded what pizza chain? I'll say it one more time. If you know the answer, leave it in the form of a comment on this video. Nolan Bushnell, co-founder of Atari, also founded what pizza chain? So there you have it. I will be, uh, I'll keep my eye out, have my radar, boop, 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 keeping up on things and seeing uh the answer for everybody <laughs> i hope you guys get it right Leela says would never say that <laughs> i would never say that the art fam doesn't suck <laughs> i know you wouldn't i know you were just i was just teasing you <clears throat> so there you have it there is the beginning uh actually if i turn all this off you'll know what i'm talking about <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been doing this show for a while, but it's all brand new to me. <laughs> there is the beginning of our Bot 10 art version of Umbrella Academy. The father. The daddy. But daddy, why do you treat us so bad? <laughs> it's because I hate you all. I paid a lot of money for you, so you do what I say. So there it is. We're going to continue doing this next week. Same time, Friday night, 8 p.m. And, uh, and we'll keep doing it until it gets done. But I'm really hoping to lay down some nice colors and stuff like that. And then start inking this thing. So we're going to ink it with uh, with Micron pens. It'll be super awesome. And, uh, and we'll keep going from there. So there you have it. I want to extend all my love, all my appreciation to all my family, to all my friends, to everybody online. Thank you, everybody, uh, uh, DLive, for joining in and for contributing and giving me donations. It's totally blowing my mind. Thank you so very much. Uh, thank you for everybody on YouTube. Thank you to everybody on Twitch. That is it. <laughs> Thanks for all your love and support. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, man. I hope you have a, such an awesome weekend. And, uh, and for those getting rest like me, we hope we get rest and we just kind of chill and have a good time. I will be live streaming tomorrow on DLive. Uh, I am taking requests over there, so we will be continuing. Thank you so very much. I love you all. And, uh, and yeah, man, just know that 
without you i can't do this <laughs> so thank you very much we'll see you next week bye bye we'll see you next week adios adios art familia los quiero mucho bye bye Thank you.